And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to my fifth and final video talking about HeroScape. And I talked about the characters, I talked about how to play the game. The game is a lot of fun. But some of you may be watching this and wondering, you know, look at this. This is just the height of geekiness to have tons of this stuff around. And yeah, that's probably true. I like variety. I like owning everything from the set. It's a lot of fun. I like being able to build huge layouts with the terrain. But what I will say, playing this game, there are different levels. You can buy a, a set, maybe some expansions, play very casually. You can also be a super master. Some people have bought 20 of the sets, and I've seen layouts in people's homes, and I'm, I'm starting to worry about their sanity. How do they, how do they have time to build these things, and how do they have time to dedicate a whole room to just HeroScape? But the game is really that fun. Now, some people play it, and it dies out on them, but there are ways that people keep themselves refreshed in the game. Are the characters in the game becoming boring for you? And you want to use more characters? Now, I can't imagine that because there's so many characters, but there are many, many other miniature games out there. There's Dungeons and Dragons, there's Star Wars, there's Hero Clicks, there's all kinds of games out there. And if you break them off the base and take these extra unique characters that you've gotten in these sets and use their bases, you can make your own custom characters. I mean, look at this guy. A giant. He's not in the game, and yet he's on a HeroScape base. And I have a HeroScape card for him. And you can make these yourself, which is a bit more work than I'm willing to do. You can buy them on eBay, but the problem with buying them on eBay is that you simply will just, you don't know what you're going to get, you don't know the quality, and often the ones that you get aren't play tested very well. But there is a nice website that is available called HeroScapers.com. Heroscapers.com is a set or a website that is all about Heroscape. And the people who are in charge of this website have played hundreds of games. You can look at the forums. All these neat terrains that I've set up, that I, I build, all these terrains come from this site, or at least that's where I find them. There's a lot of information on BoardGameGeek.com too, but Heroscapers is where the action is. These people were so diehard Heroscape that the people who run this site and, and some other diehard fans are actually now helping design the new Heroscape expansions which are coming out in the future. And so you can go there and you can find the, the news on what's coming out first. The ability to go to this website and find that information, of course you'll find your fair share of people talking about things that you won't understand. They'll say the book of this, and you're like, what are you talking about? And people who say, well, if you use this combination together, it can't be stopped, and oh, those characters are overpriced. I would ignore that. Just have fun with the game. The game is a lot of fun, but there is a lot of good information, a lot of pictures, a lot of scenarios, people talking about custom stuff. It's a great place to go. Heroscape has been out for several years now, and while its production rates slowed down a bit over the past year or two, it seems like they have more stuff coming. It looks like there's a lot more of the Dungeons and Dragons stuff coming, but they have promised that there are other things coming also. And if they don't have something coming, hey, why not play with the Star Wars theme set that you've made up? Why not throw in the Transformers or G.I. Joe or whatever you know you can put on those plastic figures? Heroscape to me is something that just is able to be played with indefinitely. And if I was never able to buy another HeroScape thing or get another expansion set, I would be pretty content right now because there is so much variety in the stuff that's already out there. If you've hesitated to make the jump, I would recommend that you get into it now. If nothing else, HeroScape makes a good Lego set in a sense, or something for your kids to play with. So my final opinion of Heroescape is it is a lot of fun to play with. It's good for kids and adults to play. Uh, setup time can take a while to put something together. Teardown time is a lot faster. And playing the game itself, you can play 30 minutes easily. You just have to pick what size armor you want. What do you like about the game? Um, that I'm good at it. <laughs> I always beat my dad. Maybe, maybe, maybe the next battle Melody will lose. But it is a lot of fun. Like I said, you can have one super powerful character like the Hulk fighting thousands of, or not thousands, but dozens of other characters. 
everything works out well, every major archetype of characters in the game. Once I had Hawk and Abomination, Hawk died, and I killed my dad's whole team. I had only two characters, he had about like more than ten. I killed all of them, and Abomination was the only one who lived. And that's what another great thing about Hero Escape, is the fact that it gives you great stories to tell. It's a game that leaves you, and it's simple to play, but there's lots of complexities in it and lots of strategy. Uh, I can't recommend it highly enough. All right, good enough. All right. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.